laser. And we are just going to have to turn this off for the moment. We're just going to have to bring this down here and put a laser's name on it. My uh, next overlay is a lot better for actually fixing names like this, but for now, no, a laser is going to play on No Regrets account. <laughs> Alright, so let's do this. As we uh, get this ready to go, we do have to the top left hand side, representing the swarm in Poland in this, well I mean it's a Polish showdown actually. Let's uh, see how it's going to go, nope that's not the button I wanted to press. Oh no, don't say my fingers are fucked up. Okay well to the top left hand side our blue zerg player is Nurcio. And to the bottom right hand side our red zerg player is Laser. Again he's playing on No Regrets account because his account got locked here when he tried to log on to NA. Now why exactly is this happening? So that's correct. Oh my god, why is everything falling apart today? That's so weird. Hatch gas pull a piece to get us started at least. Let me just have a little bit of a look to see what's happened. Okay, so I think it works if I do... It's just such a mess, I don't know. I'm going to have to play with this in a moment or two, guys. My hotkeys have messed up for some reason. Um, for some reason everything's just changed for where it should be, so apologies for that. Anyways, let's get this started, let's get this underway. Actually, I wonder if I could just... Okay, bear with me, I'm so sorry about this. This is not the way I want to start. Let me just try this. This might be able to save me. No. Makes no difference. Alright, well, let's just talk about the game then and we'll uh, fix that in the break. So this is uh, Arashi, a map by Avex, and again, one of the maps from the Rush category. And we do see Hatch Gas pull a piece into a fairly fast third hatch here from Nurcio. As we already see, a first couple of Zerglings of a laser coming out onto the map and starting to move around a little bit here to see what is going on. So coming over to the right-hand side. Man, there's a lot of weird sounds on this map. There's a lot of weird sounds on this map. One of my favorite things about these maps as well is just looking at like the little things that are going on around. Like there's a phoenix being built over here. It's always really cool to see all those like little extra bits. So yeah, Arashi kind of an interesting one uh, because there's a lot of line of sight blockers down here and there is this kind of faster path through the center, which is not going to be very easy to move through later in the game. You're much more going to be focused around moving around these ramps, which increases the rush distance just a little bit. But for now, early on, it's very rush focused and again, an interesting setup. Like you've got the normal natural wall up here, but then you have like a double ramp if you want to defend both the third and the natural. So very intriguing. And also with a left hand side set of rocks as well, it means that the bases are both easy to take, while also being somewhat difficult to take and or hold in the longer term. So it's an interesting little setup here. As you're going to see those couple of links pulling away. And a bit less about to finish up already from Nurcio, as we do see a laser. Well, he's just setting up in towards a fairly standard free hatch of his own. But in, he does also have a bit less finished and straight into an evolution chamber as well. And just before we go... Too much further, I want to just say thank you very much to Athel Saft Gibcraft coming in with the Terran for life on the two month free sub. Thank you so much. And Demi coming in with the 15 month free sub as well. How are you doing, mate? Thank you so much for the 15 months. Can we get some Woody Hearts in the chat, please, for those guys as we continue on along? As you're going to see some Lingers chasing each other around. I'm just going to be seeing those Zerglings coming in. And one of those Lingers getting picked off already. The Evolution Chamber here is going to be uh, finishing off in a moment or so. As you are going to be seeing these Lings and Banes just setting up at the front. Rotron and a plus one missile upgrade from a laser already coming through. And I mean, it's a similar story from Nurcio. Can we turn off these ambient sounds? They're driving me absolutely crazy. No regret coming in towards the May. Sorry, a laser coming towards the May. Can I just... Thank you. That was just getting a little bit too much, wasn't it? I, I Usually I don't think I mind having the ambient sounds on, but that was just getting a little bit too much there. Um... You'll see, anyways, a couple more seconds coming through the center then. Maybe it's a bit too quiet now, I don't know, but those sounds were kind of really weird. Anyways, Ling's coming over across, and we are just going to be seeing the loud on the way from both players. The first Bane goes down, and a couple more seconds are going to come on along as well. To see just what else they can get up to here. Just scout information initially, as we're going to see both players playing the Roach style. And actually, a laser going into a fairly delayed Nematized Carapace is going to get this set up in the end. But, uh, interesting kind of, uh, delay on it. You know, it doesn't rush it out or anything like that. As you do see, this uh, drop lord is getting set up. Well, he's just looking to drop some roaches maybe around the map, or maybe he's just going to bring his queens across with a big roach attack. We'll see here very soon as Nurture is still scouting around with those couple of zerglings. Going to be looking to see just what else is going on. As this lair on the natural is going to be finishing up in the very near future, and obviously that gives him access towards roach speed, plus two missile attack, and to continue on from there. 
So as units just spreading out a little bit already, as you can see, more links coming back down towards the bottom right hand side. This overlord lifts up the four roaches, so it is just going to be the roaches in the drop. Not going to be any queens coming across the map. And uh, no, uh, laser is off and away across over to the top side. God damn it, guys, because I reset my thing, the um, bit boss came back on. Sorry. Again, we're on the wrong overlay. It's not been a good start. Uh, the last time I was casting on an A, I was at uh, WESG, and they used my account, so all my settings got switched. I just haven't been on NA since then, so all my settings are still different. Uh, so apologies for that, but it should be a lot smoother from here on out. As Nitro actually sees this drop lord coming in, so it's a nice little scout from him. As he tries to establish a fourth base up to this top side, some links from the laser going to jump onto this already. As we are going to be seeing the uh, queen continuing to run on away. And we're just going to be seeing the uh, roaches actually get a little bit stuck there. Going to lift back up and will drop back onto the queen and should get the kill. And then be able to lift up without any losses so far. Roaches do clean up the lings on the fourth base. The laser taking the same fourth base for himself. Both players very evenly timed in that regard. As plus one is finished up from both. And you see a laser making a move up towards this top side. And already nurture a few of his roaches are a little bit out of position right here. As you're going to see this hatchery is just going to start falling, but now maybe a laser's roaches are a little bit stuck. He'll get the hatchery, sure, but he is going to take some damage on the exit here as well. A couple of roaches. I mean, the fourth base going down this early isn't the biggest of deals. I mean, it's still another 300 minerals you have to throw back in. As you can see, there's roaches coming back down through the center and going from there. So a few hydras on the way out as well as Nurture continues to tech up. Yes, already going into Roach Hydra to get us started in game number one. I see that Groove Spines coming through on the uh, Hydra's Den. And we're just going to be seeing the uh, Queen continue to come on up here as well on the Natural Expansion. Carapace upgrade coming in from both. So both of them going into double Evo as a follow-up from plus one missile attack. And uh, very interesting stuff indeed as we are going to see those Roaches. Just going to come back in from the right hand side and another overseer just setting up in the center is going to see those hydralisks are going to be able to pick off that overlord so that's a nice pick off little bits and pieces going on around the map as it's going to be a laser to get aggressive once again gathering together looking to maybe hit with plus two plus one I mean, he's got Roach Ravager here, and he's going to use those Ravagers to try and pick some overlords, but Nurture dodges the first set of Biles. Is the Roach Hydra Force of Nurture going to be good enough to defend this? He is down a little bit in supply, but obviously Roaches do generally kick up more supply than uh, Hydras, so it's definitely uh, something. I think with the Ravagers, though, this might just be a little bit of an issue for Nurture. Let's find out in the next couple of moments. As you are just going to be seeing these roaches and rabbits pushing down the ramps and hydralisks. Going to start getting biled on down and we are going to see, well, there's a lot of units here from a laser. He's going to be able to continue fighting this and not so far. It's going pretty well for him. He's going to see a few more corrosive bars. Roaches continue to take some hits and we are just going to see the roaches and ravages continue to push on through. And, well... Try and push on through at least because now Nurture is able to get up the ramp and actually chase this down. As he grabs a couple of Ravages on the exit, those are expensive units which are being lost here. A small shame as we're going to see the Lurker Den is on the way up on this natural expansion. And you're going to see the rest of these units from Nurture just coming back up towards the top side now. A few more Hydralists on the way out. We are going to be seeing the uh, skill Organs coming up as well. Just continuing to get set up into this here. So just going to be seeing Nurture still coming down this right-hand side. Looking to counter-attack here maybe just a little bit. I mean, for the Lurker Den finish, though, now he can morph in Lurkers. And that's where it gets a lot more difficult for a laser. He's going to have to try and corrosive bow down Lurkers, which is not going to be easily done. As he continues to lose a couple of Overlords here and there. No Lurkers ready just yet, though. As we're going to see this fight up this right side is definitely a laser favored. He just has more stuff. It means that Nurture is winning this fight down to the south side. Or is he? He's running out of Roaches. It's a bit of a weird fight on either side, honestly, as we're going to see these Roaches and Ravages continue to move on up and to the upper top side. 12 Roaches against 15 here, as we're going to see, well, no, uh, sorry, a laser pushes in once again. A few more Corrosive Bars coming down and splits away. So far, pretty good. As we're going to continue seeing a laser here pulling back down this right-hand side. A couple of Roaches and small Hydralisks continue to see what they can do as Nurture continue to push forward with this army initially. And just reinforcing this with pure roaches, still yet to see a lurker coming into play. But Nurture, look how low health some of these uh, roaches of a laser are. So Nurture's just going to jump on that opportunity. Now he's going to get in towards an overlord farm with hydras. And of course, that's dangerous because the supply box could be endless. There's going to be seeing Nurture still trading very well and continuing to move his units around nicely to minimize the damage and to maximize what he can get done. Three roaches now starting to get on top of the hydras, though, and that's where things could turn around as the laser starts to clean this up a little bit here and a little bit there. 
So Laser starts to clean that up as you can see more roaches down towards the south side and they are going to get themselves in towards this mineral line and so some more drones are going to be going down as well. So a whole bunch of workers starting to drop off. Already 10 workers killed and the Laser just doesn't have an answer very quickly. He's going to lose his entire mineral line before he gets units over here to begin defending. As you're going to be seeing Nurture makes use of this little pathway to the left hand side to get out of there. As you're going to see roaches diving in towards the third hatchery yet again and we're going to be seeing this uh, attack in. Well, again, Nurture's done a lot already. His economy is way up, and if he just pulls back and regroups a little bit now, he would be in a very good position to just continue moving onwards. He did lose this little bit of an army to the left-hand side, so he's actually down on army supply a little bit at the moment. Can he defend? Remember, very quick push across the map here from one base to the other on this rush-based map here for our first map of the Team Liquid Map Contest Tournament. As we are going to be having just a few of those units sat up. On this high ground, Nurture getting defensive again. Lost quite a lot in the last stages of that there. Now making some lurkers definitely will help defensively if they're in the right positions, but they're not here right away to defend as he loses two overlords to the Cross of Biles. The fourth base looking as though it might go down. Nurture's actually just going to start going across the map again. So he's kind of happy maybe to base trade this. He pulled his drones very preemptively and it looks as though a laser is looking for them. He is going to find them. So suddenly a laser will get the same damage done, but maybe Nurture will actually then match it once more by killing this hatchery. And so both players are really taking place blows at each other right now. There's a lot of those drones starting to go down. Some of them trying to run back across here. There's going to be seen. Well, this base will get picked off. And then does Nurture just try and get out of there? Or what's the plan going to be? He doesn't have that many units to straight up fight this army just yet. He'll get caught. The tail end of his units getting picked away at as he gets back up that ramp. But now he does have lurkers and he's hold position of them. Nurture, what a play this is because the Ravagers will now just disappear. And look at the destructive nature of those lurkers destroying those roaches. What a play that was. A laser was not expecting the lurkers in any way, shape or form. What a way that turned out to be. As we're going to be seeing these uh, roaches and hydras continue to push on forwards, and that is pretty much going to be it. Wow, that's crazy. As you're going to be seeing pushing forwards, those ravages will go down as well. What a play by the lurkers. Across the map, there was a small, just going to point that out, a small little attack into the natural rush maps get played and stuff like that and sometimes they don't get played because like you got to convince the players hey guys it's okay they're gonna the map's gonna be decent i promise um all right so let's uh, set this up just gonna put a laser's name on this as well which is what i did last time but then i reset my x split and just completely forgot to actually fix it again but we should be all good as we do have to the top left hand side our blue zerg player no regret not no regret god damn it a laser I get really, I get really messed up by, I get really messed up by the, the swapping of uh, names and when play, people play under the wrong names and it's really bad when it's another player's name. Like if this was a name like Bob or Bill, I would, fi I would see it in my head and be like, oh yeah, a laser. But when I see no regret, I'm just like, yeah, it's no regret. No, this is a laser to the top left hand side, guys, playing some StarCraft 2 for us here today. And it's down to the bottom right. We are gonna have our red Zerg player. He has recently uh, lost his uh, team, Euronix Gaming, but still sponsored by Red Bull. To the bottom right-hand side, it is Nurcio. So again, set up into this here and have a little bit of a look to see what will happen in game number two, Cypress Relay Station, as we already are opening up with Hatch Gas Pool from each player. So getting that set up and rolling here already. Let's uh, see how this continues. So, getting set up and uh, seeing what's going to happen. Yes, the finals is 15 maps. It's 15 maps, all maps played. So, it's kind of like a best of 15 in the sense that, you know, whoever wins, whoever gets to 8 points first, or whoever gets 8 points, whoever gets the most points in the series, does win. But also, every map gets played, so you still play for $50 per map, so that we can see every single map possible. As you do see a hatch, you're coming up to this right hand side and we are going to be seeing already a laser fairly fast third hatch compared to this evolution chamber of uh, Nurture here. And that means we're going to be seeing a uh, carapace upgrade coming through in the next few moments. So we're going to be seeing that carapace upgrade starting up and then later link speed from Nurture as he's going to be playing some fairly interesting ZVZ to continue us on through this first matchup of the day. So getting set for that just needs a little bit more gas and there it is actually. Carapace starts up. Now, a laser has been not really mining too much more gas. Is not in towards a bane nest or anything just yet. Just letting his link speed come on up here as both players are just splitting up these initial overlords and getting ready to go. Now, this map is by Ophthalmologist, a map maker who is uh, a fairly new kind of face to the mapping scene. He apparently was just the first time 
he uh, entered the Team Liquid Map Contest was with Team Liquid Map Contest number 9, which was last uh, year's. And so this is his uh, second time entering and already a map in the finals. So really cool from him and uh, interested to see how his map plays out here, is, of course. As we do just uh, get set up. So yeah, I guess let's have a look around the map quickly before things start happening. Main base, relatively standard. I mean, a pocket fair down here or again, the choice of going down this way instead. I mean, you know, from this base to all the way over here, it's definitely not super long. But it's definitely not the shortest of maps either. And it definitely does just get a bit more aggressive kind of beyond the two bases. So again, a bit of a cool take on the uh, the rush map here so far. And as we're just going to be seeing these couple of things going to be jumping up in towards the main base. And again, the Queen just uh, dealing some damage. So Queen picking off some uh, bits and pieces there. Morlings on the way up as Carapace will be kicking in shortly. And so Nurture is going to get ready to use his Flood of Zerglings. That is, sorry, uh, Laser is going to be able to get ready with his Flood of Zerglings to get going in this. Nurture is playing the Evo Chamber on the other side of the map. I don't know why I've been calling them the wrong names. I just, apparently today is just not my day right from the start. Well, that's okay, I'm going to pull it together a little bit. A laser with the carapace set up. As we do see him going in towards the lair as well. And some extra drones on the way out. So Nurture actually just playing a straight up standard ZVZ. How did I... How did I get this so wrong? All the way through. I don't even know. Apologies, guys. So Nurture went for the fast free hatch. He set up into the standard Ling Bane. A laser has the carapace upgrade. As we are going to see those lings now We're getting ready to strike, he's going to go into the Rotron behind it. Obviously with the Carapace coming up, you already have the ability to kind of have an upgrade on those Rogers. And so it makes a nice transition to go straight into Rogers beyond this. And as you see, Nurture is going to be losing the Queen over on this third hatchery. And now we're going to be seeing a laser pulling back once again. And the Plus Missile upgrade on its way up. Rotron going to be finishing very soon as well. A lot of lings gathering in the center. Third hatchery is about to finish up here on the left-hand side from a laser now as Nurture. Defending well with a couple of Banes out, it just helps to kind of push those Zerglings away even if they have a Carapace upgrade. And Nurture is ahead on the plus one missiles, which could go a long way for him, of course, as well. As we're going to be seeing Nurture actually launching a big counterattack, goes straight up into the main base, does pull some of those Lings away, actually goes back down to the south side, so he's all over the place, Nurture. I'm just trying to distract and delay a laser here, get as much done as possible. That Queen gets in position with a Carapace upgrade on it. Again, the Queen's going to actually be fairly safe, so Nurture not able to do much just yet, but now he gets Banelands in towards this mineral line, and he is going to start dealing quite a bit of damage, so Nurture is really dealing quite a bit of damage here already, a couple of drones going down. More workers pulling back down towards the natural. He's going to see Ling's coming back up to the top side. And they're still running around to see what else will happen as these roaches are going to be just picking away at a few more of the Zerglings. Very nicely done. 42 workers apiece here so far. 32 army supply on each side. Nurture is now going to get that plus one missiles just a little bit sooner, but no lair from him means that he will not be able to start roach speed. And he will even be a little bit late starting plus two, so a little bit of his upgrade lead timing will begin to disappear from this. As now we see Zerglings of no regret of a laser. Sorry, this is really screwing with me. Of a laser, we're going to pull back up through the top side here and come all the way back over to the left to gather up both of those roaches again. As this lair currently about halfway done now from Nurture. So lair about halfway done. This roach is going to pop up here as well as we're going to see. The laser is just gathering his units in towards the center now and getting ready to push forwards once more. I mean, he's got going to have plus one missile attack here in just a moment. He's got Roach Speed, so very aggressive attack coming out of a laser. Starting to move forwards already, a Ravager beginning to morph in. And as we do see a laser, and now just on the creep spread of Nurgio here. He's just going to be gathering his units. I mean, he has a fair amount of units. He does have plus one missile attack, just missing that Carapace upgrade. Let's see if that's going to make enough of a difference for Laser to break through this. A set of Corrosive Bars will pick off this first Overlord. And now Nurture is spread out, ready to try and fight. And here we go. The Ling is going to wrap around the top side, but Nurture actually is starting to get in towards those Ravagers already. But he was able to actually pick a few of those off from the get-go. This could go very well for him. He didn't actually target any of them down. And now Lings are continuing to reinforce, tanking a lot of damage for these Roaches. One more Ravager targeted there by Nurture. He's continuing to try and survive in this fight. Some more Corrosive Bars continue to go down. He's just going to tap out as a laser. We'll take game number two and tie this and uh, negative zero was the winner of Team Liquid Map Contest number six. A couple of runner-ups since then, Team Liquid Map Contest seven, and again, Team Liquid Map Contest nine. The recent one, he was the maker of Catalyst. He's also the maker of Abiogenesis, which is in the current map pool as well. And some of the other maps you might remember, uh, Pophiosis, Terraform, Sequencer, and Interloper. Terraform being the map that did win in TLMC six, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, let's see what's going to happen here as we go into Blue Shift for our next matchup, our third map 
of the day. Let's uh, see how this is going to go. Let me just replace the laser name tag to down on the south side. And hopefully I'm going to stop getting mixed up with player names and all sorts here because apparently I'm having a bit of a confused day so far. Alright, well we do have to the bottom left hand side a blue Zerg player as you're going to be seeing Hatchcast pull openings a piece here. This is going to be a laser to the bottom left representing Team Clash. And he is currently playing against the red Zerg player to the top right hand side. It is going to be Necho. Alright, so game number three of this series, and let's look to see which way this one's going to go. Blue Shift, one of the, I believe, uh, was this a, is this a standard map or was this macro map? I'm getting confused a little bit with some of my maps right now. I'm pretty sure this is one of the standard maps that was entered into the competition here today. So, uh, interested to see how it goes, and just looking to see what uh, happens on it here in this Zerg versus Zerg. Now obviously, we're going to get to see a whole bunch of these maps over the next few days. We are live every day for the next week with Team Liquid Map Contest Tournament action. Going live with just StarCraft after StarCraft after StarCraft day after day. Group stages for the next three days. Quarterfinals on Sunday. Semis on uh, Monday. And Tuesday will be the Grand Finals. Link speed on the way up from both players at the moment. There's a Bailin S coming down here from Nurcio on the natural expansion. A few Zerglings here starting to nibble away against this... Uh, third hatchery as well so he's starting to get into that attack and just gonna be seeing a little bit of a skirmish then as eventually Nurture does get the first hit on Lings he's actually gonna get a good second hit as well and just a little bit back and forth and I think Nurture finally happy to come in as was a laser I think it was definitely Nurture who was getting the better end of that trade now if a couple more Lings coming in it becomes much more obvious who's gonna win this fight Ling speed is a few seconds away although it's actually a laser who's already spamming more Zerglings out well so is Nurture his is just going to take a couple of seconds to get over here. Bane Ness not ready for a laser, actually, so he's not going to be able to use too much here now. And he's going to see those lings continue to come on through and chasing those lings of, no, uh, of a laser back down to the bottom right-hand side. And he's already morphing some Banes mid-map to go straight through the center here. And as we are going to be seeing, we, uh, well, a lot of the lings kind of down to this uh, south side. So a lot of these uh, lings moving around a little bit right now is just going to be having the... Uh, you know, just continue to move around here. This map actually reminds me a little bit of Catalyst, actually. Like, if you spin the map, like, 90 degrees or so, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Catalyst. Like, the pathway through the center looks very similar. There's, like, a few rocks on either side. And then it's, like, the first three bases are... Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Obviously, the top left and bottom right would be different. Anyways, Lings continue to come on forward with these Banes to support. And so far, Nurcio looks as though he will grab himself a Queen. And is able to keep up this aggression as well. No Banes right now from the Lasers. We're going to see another Bane coming through and continue to help him to trade very well so far. And that's another nice Bane connection as Nurcio now cancelling a Bane lane out of a Laser. And he's going to get another one as well. And so Nurcio continues to stream across the map. Really has momentum on his side at the moment. And this is starting to be a bit of an issue for a Laser. As we're going to see Nurcio diving in towards this base once again, he's got the Bailing to back him up and he's going to be able to cancel that Bailing coming in from a laser and two more Banes now just finishing and again a laser is just struggling to stay alive in this so you're going to see another couple of Banes connecting just still 26 workers apiece but is that just a bit too much from Nurcio what a shame it would be if we actually ended up seeing this map uh, just kind of end so soon because it's so pretty, I love the colours on it you know, using a couple more drones continue to pull away as Ling is still just streaming on forwards and just getting a lot of damage done. Another couple of drones going to be going down here in the next few moments. A couple of workers already picked off. You can see a third and fourth worker going down as well. And actually, this might just be it from uh, Laser. As unfortunately here, Blue Shift has not seen, I think, the game it really deserved to get started. Obviously this happens though, this is StarCraft and that's why we have such a long tournament planned out so that we're going to see each of the maps multiple times to be able to kind of, well, watch a whole bunch of different games on it. Obviously some will be longer, some will be shorter. And as we're going to be seeing these lings coming back down and well, just more lings arriving and this really just, just spiral out of control in favor of Nurcio. I mean, the laser was the first to be the aggressor. He was the one who was making lings a little bit earlier. He was the one that was already across the map.